Appreciate y'all putting up to the bootleg ass studio. Y'all could be anywhere in the world, but y'all chose to be right here, share the bootleg ass studio. It really means a lot to me. Indubitably. Let's go and get up into some of this news, man. All right. So we got a the classic case of self snitching popping off today. Murder suspects boasted about crimes on YouTube videos. <sighs> Philly DA. Let's see what they talking about. Check them out. Let's see. Now at four o'clock, four men accused of terrorizing a Philadelphia neighborhood are off the streets today. Authorities said they have arrested members of an alleged organized crime ring behind five shootings back in 2021. It is Tuesday afternoon. I'm Brian Taft. And I'm Sarah Bloomquist. The big story on Action News, the arrests announced today by the district attorney's office. Authorities say their violent actions left two people dead and several others hurt in Strawberry Mansion. Action News reporter Maggie Kent joins us live along the parkway this afternoon with more on how police were able to track these guys down, Maggie. Brian and Sarah, uh, Authorities, prosecutors say that they found some YouTube videos from these men in particular who were bragging about what was going on and that they say the motive behind these shootings was notoriety. Mm. Well, they did get notoriety huh? by law enforcement. <laughs> law enforcement says four men, <laughs> members of a gang, are responsible for five shootings. Two men were killed, five others were shot and injured. Dante Sutton, Jameer Brunson Gans, Elijah Soto and Khalil Henry have been charged with homicide and gun crimes. This group sought notoriety. They're going to show the video to me. They sought attention and that was part of the motivation for each and every one of these uh, shooting incidents. Prosecutors say the organized crime ring focused their attention on the Strawberry Mansion neighborhood in 2021. Various members are allegedly responsible for shooting two people July 14th on North 33rd Street, shooting a man on September 5th on the 3100 block of North Judson Street, carrying out the homicide of 19 year old Jordan Murray the next day on the 2200 block of West Huntington Street, killing 33 year old Jarek Jenkins on the 2900 block of West York Street September 18th and shooting two people on October 4th, 2021, on the 2000 block of North 33rd Street. How did investigators connect these cases? The ATF employed the National Integrated Ballistic Network. Via examining fired cartridge cases. Now, prosecutors also spoke about how some of these individuals were sending text messages to each other, one of them reading, we put the H in homicide. All of these young men, 18 to 20 years old, face serious charges if convicted. We are live along the parkway, Maggie Kent, Channel 6, Action News, Brian. And now the, less, the rest of their lives affected by those choices. Maggie, thank you. The rest of their lives affected by those choices. What's up with the self-snitching of today, man? We got a real serious case of self-snitching today they might have and it's good that they didn't get away but as a criminal i'm putting myself in a criminal shoes just playing the devil's advocate i wouldn't want to get caught i wouldn't do something and then brag about it i'm gonna i'm gonna try to lay low key you feel me that's just what i would do if i was going to do wrong unless i just had it in my heart that i needed to come clean that's a total different subject but not wanting to get caught is what most criminals are after <laughs> so why would you go and make it easy for the police to find you i i don't get that with these people today they be chasing clout so damn bad and shout out to san diego 619 is in the house for shit show appreciate you pulling up to the bootleg ass studio on oh, god San Diego up in this thing. But yeah, man, we got a real bad case of people self snitching today, man. They just can't hold water. Mm, mm, mm. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah.